Hello and welcome, my name is Melody from Melody Crochet and today I'm going to be talking about the slip stitch and showing you a few ways where that shows up and see if I can help if you have any questions on it. First off, I'm going to start with a slip knot. I have a video for all of the things you see me do, so feel free to check into that. I'll try and link everything below that you might need. And in order to do a slip knot, you're either going to be doing it into a, the top of a crochet stitch or into a chain. The times you do it into a chain is if you're making maybe a drawstring for something in a crocheted manner, or perhaps it's a sizing situation in a top where they want to bring it in and you maybe have a taller and shorter part of a row so you get some sizing and shaping, which is fabulous. But let's say you're doing the rope situation and you are going to be single crocheting into a chain. So here's my nice chain. It is nice and loosely chained. There's nothing heavy about this chain. If your chain is tight, don't do this. This is not what you want to do. That's not how you want to start this. Um, and as a rule, it's going to say slip stitch into the second chain from hook first. This is not a chain. So this is the first chain from hook. This is the second. And you're going to just no wrapping around, nothing interesting. This is as fast as lightning, but done loosely. Otherwise you're going to crawl. So insert, grab your yarn with a yarn over, draw up through everything on the hook. And it is fiddly. And now at the end of it, give yourself some space to work with. If you have to wiggle, that's okay. Then next one, insert, and I'm just going under one strand of that chain, grab that yarn, and come back through everything on the hook. Give yourself a little height. <laughs> that height at the end is important. You do not want a super tight slip stitch. There we go. And then you just start working across. Usually it will be smaller, but I'm in some bulky yarn here so that it's easier to see. And it's such a lovely effect. And this is what you end up with. Let me show you how we slip stitch into an actual crochet stitch though before you go. Chain one, turn your work. Now, since you're turning your work, we're working in the back of that single crochet. So here's the front. It'd probably be easier, but it's not. We're not doing that, so it's okay. <laughs> to slip stitch into the top of a crochet stitch. There's a little V of your crochet stitch. You just pop your hook, no wrapping or anything, no yarning over, just pop your hook under that V, grab that yarn, and pull through everything on the hook. Give yourself a little wiggle up for height, and go to the next one for as many stitches as it suggests. This one is probably going to be counted more. The other one will usually say, just do that in every stitch across in, in a chain. But this one, it'll usually be for getting a small area or a short area and then all of a sudden they'll want you to like single crochet for a couple and then they'll want you to like half double crochet for a couple and that will give you a shaped area so that you can maybe have a skinny area around your waist that opens up around the shoulder and the chest area and it's usually used for shaping it's kind of like the short rows version in knitting, but so much simpler in crochet. I love it so much more. <laughs> but that is your slip stitch in a stitch and into a chain. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, and I will see you next time with another Melody Crochet Basics. Bye, guys.